This instructional video is designed to show you how to apply the Nernst equation to find the concentration of an unknown component when presented with a voltaic sail. So the first step is similar to the ones in finding the non-standard sail potential and that is to find E cell standard. So in order to do this we'll take the half cells and write out their reactions, uh, completing them. And so in this case it's straightforward to see that the only thing we have to do is add two electrons. Now because this one is oxidation we have to reverse it to find it in a lookup table. Once we find it in the table we recognize that because it's actually oxidation its half cell potential will need to change in sign. So when written as reduction, it's found in the table as negative 0.126 volts. So as oxidation, it is positive 0.126 volts. This one is reduction as written. So we're going to have solid tin as the product. And the only thing we have to add for reactants is two electrons. So when we look this one up in the uh, standard cell potential table, it will be reduction. So we keep the sign as is, and that is minus 0.136 volts. We can add these two directly to get E cell standard, and we'll have a value of negative 0 0.010 volts. So now that we've found E cell standard, the next step is to combine these to get our overall reaction so that we can have an expression for Q. This is also fairly straightforward as all we must do is get rid of the two electrons. And then we just carry through writing everything out. To get the expression for Q, uh, we'll recognize that we only need to use the items that are in solution. And so our expression for Q then is the lead ion concentration divided by our tin ion concentration. And so now we have these two key pieces of data, the E cell standard and an expression for Q. In order to get that, we had to realize that we were using two electrons. And so now we use the final step, which is apply the Nernst equation. So E cell is equal to E cell standard. And in this case, because we have 25 degrees Celsius, we can substitute in where we would have RT over NF, ln Q. And instead, we'll have E cell standard minus 0 0.0257 divided by the number of electrons used, multiplying ln q. So we have a value for E cell standard. We have a value for E cell itself. We know how many electrons were used up, and we have an expression for q where we can substitute in for the concentration of lead. This means that we have only one unknown remaining. So for E cell, we have positive 0 0.010. And I'll be suppressing units for simplification of writing. Uh, e cell standard is negative 0 0.010. We have minus 0 0.0257 over 2. And we have ln of 0.25 divided by the concentration of 10 to plus. And so now all we have remaining to do is step through the simplification of the math. Um, we add 0 0.01 to both sides. This gives us 0 0.020. The value here. 0 
one, two, eight, five. We can use logarithm rules to separate this. ln of 0.25 minus ln of our tin concentration. And so now we'll have uh, skipping past a lot of the math, which I encourage you to do for yourself. The natural log of our 10 concentration will be equal to ln of 0.25 plus 0 0.020 divided by 0 0.01285. And so when we simplify through, we get uh, for all of this here, after some awful algebra, we get a value of 0 0.17. So what this means then is that we want to do e raised to this and e raised to this. That will leave us with the concentration of 10 it is going to be e to the 0.17. And so our final answer is that our 10 concentration will be 1.17. 186 molar. So this is our final answer. This is the concentration of 10 necessary for this voltaic cell to have this cell potential.